Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome back to my channel. About a month ago I saw this video pop up in my subs feed. Jackie, aka Nerdy Crafter, created a creature in a can inspired by artist Steve Cresino. He does incredible work transforming peanuts, cans, tic tac mints and old game cartridges into works of art. I was inspired and you voted on the sardine scan. So let's go. So sardine cans unfortunately don't come with a key where you twist the metal top from the can. They are now all manufactured with this pull tab. The top came off easily and I'm taking the pull tab off. I was really surprised that the edges of the top and the can itself were not sharp at all. I'm twisting a part of the top with pliers and I've got this old key my father-in-law gave me which is what I'm going to use in this project so it looks like an old sardine can key. I've got my polymer clay tools, some glass decoration stones and some extra bits and bobs I might need and of course polymer clay that came in the jazza box. I'm starting off by filling half of the can with tin foil. This is the part where the lid will sit on top of. For now I'm keeping the lid of the can in place with an elastic band. With some brown clay I'm covering up the tin foil that is still visible. This is the part the head of the creature will be on top of. I'm then placing the bottom jaw of the creature on the base and glue in two bottom teeth with bake and bond. The teeth are leftovers from a previous project and already baked. Next I'm taking two of the glass decoration stones which I'm going to use as eyes and pressing them in two flattened balls of clay which will be the eye sockets. I am then removing them to place a light colored piece of clay in the indent made and then place the stone on top. I then place the entire eye socket including the glass stone on the head of the creature and blend in the edges. I give the creature some nostrils and shape the eyelids before placing it on top of the bottom jaw. And of course it needs some teeth in the top as well. From the cloth clay that came in the jazza box I am creating a tongue. I use this particular clay because it stays flexible and I don't have to worry about the tongue breaking off. The side from one of my clay tools gives the perfect texture for the tongue. And then just placing it inside of the mouth and shaping it. Then with the same tool I used for the texture of the tongue, I'm going over the head of the creature to give it more texture as well. I am applying bake and bond to the edges of the can lid so it reattaches to the tin and stays in place. Before I'm going to bake the creature to save my progress, I'm applying mica powders to color it. I wanted it to have a shimmery look and mica powders are perfect for this. What you see me do here is me mixing my own clay colors. I wanted some more muted colors of clay for the next step in this project. And here is a beautiful snakes of clay rainbow. And now you might wonder what I'm going to do with all these lovely colors. Well, I kind of thought of a backstory for this little creature. I had no particular creature in mind. There were two options for this, however. I could make it creepy, like the zombie frog I created in Halloween 2020, or make it cute. And I decided to go with cute. This is some kind of sea creature. Its head might be big, but it does live in this little sardine scan. It found it at the bottom of the ocean. As you will soon see, it has been there for quite a while as it is overgrown with coral. 
Because this creature is so tiny, it needs to hide wherever it can, to not be eaten by its enemies. This species lives mostly in solitude and has mastered social distancing. By living in this colorful can, most of its enemies will shy away from it. So now here is the most important question of all. What is its name? Leave a comment down below and I will pin the one I like best. Also, if you want me to make more creatures in a can videos, but then perhaps with the monster can you saw at the start of this video, make sure that this video gets at least 2000 likes. There are so many colors of monster cans and there is definitely a lot of options there. Now I know some of you love to watch the whole process of a project, so I'm going to run a little time lapse here of me building up the coral. With a strong tone wash, I'm going over the tongue and the entire coral surface to give the project more depth. And of course, some glossy accents on the tongue and the teeth. And this is it for this fun creature in a can project. It was a lot of fun to work with polymer clay again, and I think it came out rather cute. If you would like to support me, you can do so by signing up for my Patreon. You can find the link in the end card of this video or in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!